Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. All right, man, I heard from the grapevine that, uh, excuse me, that Al Heyman allegedly or could have blocked Adrian Broner's BLK Prime fight from the State Farm Arena. Now, if you don't know, apparently no tickets have been on sale yet. And a lot of people kind of think it won't go on because Lundy, apparently, from what I heard just through the grapevine, he had another contract signed to fight somebody else. And that promotional company is trying to block him from fighting Adrian Broner. Okay. So, um, that's what I kind of heard. I don't know if that's what the Pacifics, what the article pointed out or whatever the situation may be. But, um, but apparently the venue I think was being moved before, um, Lundy became an, a possible opponent, uh, to the public. And it's supposed to be moved to a venue I heard in College Park. Georgia, I don't, I forget the name of the venue or whatever, but, excuse me, hang now, this is in College Park, and some of, they was, you know, the word kind of going on behind the scenes that Al Heyman had something to do with that event, getting moved, excuse me, damn, shoulder itching, getting moved from the State Farm Arena to College Park, so, um, in my opinion, I just thought that, you know, maybe the tickets wasn't, you know, they wouldn't, the ticket, you know, the tickets analytics was telling them that they weren't moving fast enough or or whatever. So, you know, you want to know why people don't cross Al Heyman. I know somebody was talking about how Fulton, well, you know, he, you know, Al Heyman was trying to block Fulton and uh, I heard out of Philly trying to block Fulton in, uh, in New York way. And Fulton said, you know, basically left and went to go make the deal on his own. So, you know, with Adrian Broner, you know, being able to cross the street and do what he want to do. I think a lot of them black fighters at PBC going to grow some balls and start leaving. Now, Gary Russell wanted to leave a number of times and people say, well, him and Al don't have a contract or, or whatever. Man, he's scared to leave. Well, you know, they I heard, you know, that people say behind the scenes that, you know, Al Heyman, very powerful dude. and He can he can, you know, hurt your career. So. You know, at the end of the day, I don't, you know, he let Mikey Garcia, Andy Ruiz, he let them Hispanics do what they want to do. He let Hugo Centennial go. You know what I'm saying? How many black fighters you heard letting them go? He let David Benavidez go to top rank before Samson Boxing, you know, uh, said he was going to take Bobby on the uh, court. And David Benavidez's contract with PBC was just up and he just read up. When have you heard Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, Adrian Broner contract being up with PBC? You haven't. You haven't. So Adrian Broner might have opened the floodgates for, for them dudes to grow up here and leave. So now you got Broner that left and now you got Fulton that left. So, you know, he might he might have opened the floodgates to something greater. Now black fighters feel like they got the boss to move on and um and leave. But apparently they going around saying that Al Heyman might have something to do. With him not fighting at State Farm Marine and then moving the venue, he might have blocked that. My whole thing is this. I don't think it was enough time to sell enough tickets there, Adrian Broner or not. Was him and Red Cash going to sell enough tickets to be? And it's a basketball arena, probably, what, twenty to 16,000 seats? So, it was doable. It's not like it's a football arena like Mercedes-Benz Arena, but I think he needed a better name than Red Cash. You know, and if if, if, that, if if that's really true, which I like, I said it's just the rumor going around behind the scenes. If that's really true, man, shame on him. He don't block. He don't block nothing. He don't block the Mexicans from feeding their family. They get to go as come as they please. Like I told y'all, man, Al Heyman ain't for ain't for the ain't for black people. If this, if, hey, even if this is, ain't true, he done a lot of weak ass shit. He ain't for the brothers. There's people in his own stable losing businesses and under attack and stuff. And I ain't got to name them. Some of the biggest names in the sport. You know, he they said he keep everybody just fed enough not to starve and keep coming back. And that's crazy. And the majority of people that work with him is black. Like I said, man, that's why, you know, Nipsey Hussle had that, 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 that line. Black owners in this game is a powerful racist. Black people know they be going to this hookah and smoke shop. They be supporting them Arab shit. For sure. This hookah and smoke shop, dude, it be on 10. 
<laughs> all of them. I just can't see me putting a hookah pipe in my mouth and smoking it. I'm not even going to say the word to describe it. Then people be on live on YouTube videos smoking the hookah and blowing it like that shit is cool. Like, that, that, that ain't cool. That ain't... Why you on live? Like, dude, that ain't even cool, bro. Look like you doing a got 1000 on the on the hookah stick. Like, they can think that shit cool. Oh, you look corny as hell. <laughs> All right. Come on. Another pet peeve of mine is females that smoke that smoke blunts and, and be smoking weed and they stories on live. That shit ain't cute. A chick that smoke weed on live and do all that shit, that shit ain't sexy, bro. I don't mind if you smoke. That's you. But don't be on live like that shit cute. That shit ain't cute. That shit ain't ladylike, dude. Ain't shit sexy about that. At all. This is me. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just a particular type. But if Al Heyman is holding these brothers, he's trying to hold it. And that's what it looked like. He holding the brothers back. And like I said before, like Nipsey Hussle said, black owners in this game, powerful races, dude. We got Jay-Z cross Kaepernick. You know? Real talk. You know? And he, 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 you know, and he let Errol Spence and Keith Thurman fight once a year. Don't let them go out there and take the best deals. It's like you want to just have control over the black fighters and like I'm bigger, I'm better than you. Man, like I said, it ain't nowhere, it ain't nowhere comfortable for black fighters to sign to in boxing, bro. I used to think it was Al Heyman, like you can't sign the Bob. It's all the same shit. It's all the same. You know, the pros and cons pretty much all equal out the same. You know? Dude, an advisor, but got so much power, and these fighters fear him so much. Particularly, the black fighters fear him so much that they scared. They scared to move on. They got the power to move on. They got the power to take other contracts. They got the power to go get other money. They got the power to sign other deals. But Al Heyman, somebody need to really look into that, bro. And if he really blocked Adrian Broner fight from the State Farm Arena. That's just more validity to what I've been telling you about the dude. He only do that to black fighters, bro. Look what he did to Luis Ortiz. I know he's Cuban. Say what you want to say. I ain't not black. I'm Cuban. Whatever. Look what he did to Ortiz. All of a sudden, you know, Eddie said, I called Ortiz to get the fight. All his, his people messed it up. Then Andrew Ruiz just came to PBC. He get the fight. Come on. Look how he doing this. Look how he doing people. Look how he's doing, people. Look how he's doing them. They negotiated Andrew Weed's fight with no problem. He just got over there. Deontay Wilder couldn't get it done. Luis Ortiz for years couldn't get it done. That dude don't want to see them brothers eat over there, bro. I'm telling you, he don't want to see them black men eat. That's why, that's why he that's why he's steering them away. From all the, from making the big fights, if you wanted to see Errol Spence be a star, he'd have been for Sean Porter, in the uh, he'd have been for Sean Porter in there with Earl. He'd have been for Keith in there with Earl. He'd have been for Danny Garcia in there with Earl. All of them would have been already fought. Somebody would have been a star. He don't really want to see them black fighters be stars, bro. That's what it is. That's why he's holding on to them fights. Well, Mikey Garcia was able to skip the line. That's why Andy Ruiz was able to step the line. That's why Benavidez, he was you know, he say he sold Benavidez contract over the top rank, whatever it was, a whole article on it. At what point? La Hugo was able to leave. But Adrian Broner, you know, he had to look over his shoulder when he left. Gary Russell was trying to leave. He had to look over his shoulder. He was strong arming Gary Russell. He can go around and say, Well, me and Al don't have a contract. Y'all got something worse than the contract. Boy got a fucking uh woman woman lasso around your neck. And he was like, well, yeah, you can take the Devin Haney fight. That nigga can't do shit, man, until Al Heyman say you can do it. And he be, y'all wonder why Devin Haney ain't signed over there. Shakir Stevenson ain't signed over there. Kid Austin ain't signed over there. 
they got some sense in the in 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 the in the fighters over at PBC, like Terrence Crawford said. They told me to watch out for the watch out for some of the shit in the contract. They they out here telling on Al Heyman too. Don't sign over here. And then when he need a favor, you know, he need a favor, call you for a favor. And probably don't even be paying them to be pushing narratives and for favors, dude. Everybody ain't over there eating. A lot of them dudes doing Instacart. A lot of them dudes losing businesses. A lot of them dudes having a lot of financial troubles. Listen to me. It's danger over there. You know, your intellectual property, all type of shit. Like, bro, somebody really need to open an investigation into that. Really do. But if he did that to Adrian Broner, it don't surprise me, dude. He wouldn't do that to the Hispanics. And he probably be he probably be advancing the Hispanics money without taxing you. I bet you he do. And when he be fronting, when he be front money to the, the black fighters, he be he be super in, putting super interest on that. When people were saying Bob Aaron was doing that to Manny Pacquiao. It was a joke. It was a joke. You know, Thomas DeLorme out here was driving. He was doing well with top rank. As soon as top rank released him, he saw Mayweather and PBC. Dude was out here doing lift in Vegas. <laughs> driving lift to make a living. A lot of these dudes doing Instacart to make a living. And all of them know the worst thing they ever did was sign to Al Heyman. Of course, Errol Spence said, well, I never crossed Al Heyman. Yeah, nigga, you ain't got no choice. Signed your whole life away. And then Errol said he don't even think he got a signing bonus. At least with Bob, you got a signing bonus. He probably would have recouped it, but shit. It is what it is. Check out the box room playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the chance of notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash up. Dollar sign CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash up, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what's in the comment section. Peace.